Uh, killing my ways. Yeah, killing my ways. Killing my ways. Uh, killing my ways. Happy day. What you doing pulling up next to my vehicle? You know, you gotta watch your surroundings these days. Although I have legions of angels surrounding me, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Still, the Bible says to be vigilant, you know? So, that is what I was doing. Lock this dough. Hallelujah. Vehicle, you're doing a lot. <laughs> you're making a lot of noise. Now calm down. I know that was my vehicle's hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so praise God. Um, praise God for the day that is today. It's a beautiful day. The God, the sky is blue. Hootie hoo! And it's a little bit of clouds in the sky. So it's not like super hot, super bright and sunny. It's just, it's just a beautiful day. A solid, beautiful day. And I thank God for waking me up. Apparently, God woke you up too. Uh, and I'm just grateful. Thank you, God, for waking us up today. Thank you, God, for letting us have ears to hear, eyes to see, tongues to taste, hands to feel, you know, bodies. Thank you, God. Now, this morning, I just happened to be listening to, well, actually, it didn't happen. The song Popcorn Love just popped up in my mind. I wasn't listening to any music. I just was brushing my teeth in the song Popcorn Love by New Edition came in my mind. And I just started thinking like, did they really, they really made a song called Popcorn Love. Now I'm going through my own little tribulation right now of questioning myself and questioning the gifts that God gave me. And I'm working on a major project that I know that God has called me to do, but I just keep overthinking it. I know I am. So enemy flee from me because that's the devil suggesting things. Um, that's just not true. And yeah, the song Popcorn Love popped up and I'm just like, wow. So they made a song called Popcorn Love. It was a bop. It was a hit. It was a hit. Like a lot of people loved it. New Edition made multiple albums after that album. They just popular, thriving. You know what I'm saying? Popcorn Love. Now, if they could make a hit song with the title Popcorn Love, I could do anything that my creator caused me to do as well. So that was just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, motivation for y'all today. Um, a little bit of encouragement. So that song, I decided to listen to it since it came in my mind. I was like, let me, let me play that. So been in a new edition mood since, since that time. And the song, the next song I came across was You're Not My Kind of Girl. And then I was just like, Wow. God, what was wrong with me? What was wrong with me? In this song, let me, where do you want me to start, Father? Where do you want me to begin, my Lord? So, first, let me just say, a man who finds a wife findeth a good thing. We know this. Women are not finding husbands. That is not our job. Our role is to do, be just be doing what God called us to do. Allow God to position us in the places where we, to place us strategically where we need to be because we are following the will of God. The husband will find you somewhere along that path. We don't have to do nothing extra. We don't have to change how we look to make a man like us. We don't have to change the way that we talk to make a man like us. Now, let me be specific. I'm not talking about, you know, like uh, character things like, oh, I, I'm not ever changing me cursing and, and using profane language because the Bible talks about that. We're not supposed to be using profane language, We're supposed to be using language that edifies the hearers. OK, but the kind of thing that I'm talking about is like, I talk pretty proper. I used to have boys talking about the fact that I talk proper. Like, are you a white girl? You, you a Oreo. You know, they used to call, you know how they used to call us Oreos? No, that wasn't the case. I didn't have to change something about how I speak. My husband found me. Okay. Speaking how I speak, talking the talk that I talk when I talk it. 
and anyways i'm getting off on a tangent the point is none of that had to change in this song you're not my kind of girl they say it's not your looks it's not your style it's not the way that you carry yourself oh girl i'm sorry you're not my kind of girl you're the kind of girl that a man's dreams are made of okay it wasn't that it wasn't that this woman that they were talking about wasn't enough. It wasn't that she wasn't who she needed to be. It wasn't that she needed to change nothing. She was stylish. She was cute. She had good a good head on her shoulders. It was that this man wasn't ready to make her a wife. Now, I just was thinking about how I used to be. And I would be quite... <laughs> God, thank you for delivering me. I used to practically beg for love. Now, I understand now that it stemmed from other childhood things, things that I was dealing with with my father and with just feeling lack in different areas. And maybe we'll get into that in another video. That's not what this video is about. The point for this video is that I really, truly was belittling myself because I was seeking a love that really at that time only God could give me that's the first thing there is it's a love that God has that you can't ever get from nobody else now God will provide you with people that he can love through that he can love you through however there's nothing that you have to do to receive that besides doing the will of God and I was questioning, like, why, why you don't love me? What's wrong with me? Do I need a dress like this? Do I need to start putting, posting pictures like this on MySpace? Because it was MySpace at the time. Do I need to call myself a bad B? You know, which I did and got a butt whipping for it too. It was all in my bio. But the point is, I was really trying to change myself to be like what I thought that these men wanted. Number one, the man didn't even know what he wanted. He don't know what he want. He's wanting what the world is telling him to want. And we out here doing what the world is telling us to do based off of what the world told him that he wanted. No. I realized from this song that it's saying, you just, I'm just not ready for you. You're perfect. You're perfect just the way you are. The man has to want to be a husband in order to make you a wife. That's the first thing it's nothing about us that God created us perfect God created us with all the qualities that we needed and all that we're supposed to do is walk in the will of God and do what our father told us to do and to just operate in the Holy Spirit the next thing is maybe you might be dealing with someone or desiring someone that has the qualities to be a husband wants to be a husband wants to make somebody a wife has his positioning in the lord is you know doing all the things that god called him to do but he just don't want you again that doesn't mean that you don't have the qualities to be a wife that doesn't mean that you're not equipped to be the kind of woman that you know that you want to be it means that man is not your husband it means that God has a husband for you somewhere. It just ain't him. And that's okay. And I think that we get so caught up in just looking at ourselves differently. And then we belittle ourselves and we let the enemy whisper things to us and we start to believe it. And then behave that way. And then move ourselves out of position to be the woman that we actually are really wanting to be. To become a wife. And... I was listening to Shannon Yvette the other day and she was talking about all of these different false prophets speaking about um, kingdom marriages and kingdom covenants and it's dangerous. That is very dangerous because that some of those things will put you in a position to where now you're heavily relying on the next message. You're heavily relying on uh somebody else to speak life into you and really you just need to get in your closet with god you just need to figure out what is what is my father telling me to do 
also something that helped me in my single season was understanding that I'm God is my husband at this time. I am in relationship. I am not alone. I am not alone. I am not lonely. I have a man. God is my man. I take everything to God. Be careful about the things that you allow to feed your spirit and take those things to God. When you come across a prophetic message that talks about a kingdom covenant and, and your kingdom spouse, understand that that may not be God speaking to you. That might just be that person in their flesh talking about things or the spirit that they are allowed to allowing to work through them to try to to try to you know misconstrue things for you to try to take you further away from the father and to, and to try to take your focus off of god to try to put other things on the throne of your heart so be mindful of that um understand that you are created exactly the way that you need to be created continue to do the will of god continue to seek the things that that are that come from god only and also when you love something you let it go so recognize that as well if you have a dream if you have a vision surrender it hand it over to god let god work with that let god do mold it work with it the way that only god can if you love that thing go ahead and hand it over okay stop break the stronghold on it give it to god give your relationships to god give your sadness to god give your desires to god give your weaknesses to god just give it all to god and let god do what what, what he only he can do with it i don't i don't understand why i was behaving the way that i was but it, it just thinking back it just it's like who who was i and who did i think that i was belittling myself to try to fit in the little small tiny box that it seemed like a man desired i don't care and you shouldn't care either you should only desire what god has for you and trust that god is going to send it and trust in the timing and always ask god to search you search me ol and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any way wicked way within me and lead me in the way everlasting I pray that y'all have a phenomenal day, a remarkable day uh, in the Lord. As always, seek God in every part of your day today. Search for him in everything that you do and everything that you experience. If you see a billboard, see if you can find God in the billboard. Look at the trees, see if you can find God in the trees. The breath in your body, God is in that. And just be in gratitude today. I love y'all and keep living outside the matrix. Peace. Uh, killing my ways. Yeah, killing my ways. Killing my ways. Uh, killing my ways.